Studio B. This is Baker News. I'm Liz. And I'm Alec. And this week, Baker News. Interact Club is seeking student volunteers to give one hour of their time to tutor younger kids on Google Meet. If interested, join the Interact Club's Google Classroom. The code is down below. Our question, however, is if we're the tutors tutoring younger kids, then who's tutoring us? Is there such thing as a tutor hierarchy? Is there a top tutor? If you purchase Krispy Kreme donuts or coffee, they will be available for pickup today, December 10th, in the back parking lot near the band room exit, after school for staff and students. All others can pick up between 4 to 6 p.m. If you forgot your order, there will be some extras, so come out with $10 to grab some donuts. It'll just be like the Hunger Games. Sophomore Council is holding a sticker design contest from December 8th through December 15th. All submissions must be given to a Sophomore Council representative in the LGR after school Wednesday, December 15th at their whole class meeting. They are looking for stickers that show a common theme of simplicity and they must be related to Baldensville. The winner of the contest will be awarded a $25 Visa gift card. What, what are you doing? It's my sticker design. You don't stand a chance. I think they might. The Positivity Project will be hosting a winter holiday door decorating contest during the week of December 13th. Judging will take place on Friday, December 17th, and winners will be announced on the 20th. The entry fee to participate is two or more canned goods, which will benefit the Bee Full Food Pantry. If you do not donate, you can still decorate the door, but you won't have the honor of being judged by the Positivity Project. The boys' swim team beat Liverpool in their meet this past week. Team captains Harrison Myers, Alex Lachomsky, and Brennan Groupie helped lead their team to victory with a final score of 94 to 82. Shout out to Trevor Kantak for helping lead this win and as well as working super hard. Great job. In wider world news, HBO Max announced the Harry Potter reunion that will be released on January 1st. Our very own Daniel, who has a scar in glasses, will be taking Daniel Radcliffe's place in the movie. Although getting a scar from running into a fridge isn't quite as cool as being cursed by the Dark Lord. Georgia surprisingly lost to Alabama this weekend, 41 to 24, which means that Bama won the SEC championship. Mrs. Cartier's favorite sports analyst, Stephen A. Smith, predicted this epic win hours before the game. I'll admit it, Georgia's defense is monstrous. I haven't seen a better defense in college football in quite a long time. I'm willing to admit it. But we talk about Alabama. Now we go to Bella and Lydia with a fresh look at how we start our mornings here at Baker. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Are you glad that I'm not in your class anymore? Oh my god, I am so upset you're not in my class anymore. Wait, really? No one asks me questions that I know, like, automatically the answers to. Don't get my acne. That's that's rude. Yeah. Sorry, Sonic. Good morning. Hi, Aiden. Hi. Don't say anything to them. Shade. Glassy and meanie. They think they noticed. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hi. Wake up. Shout out my cameraman, Lydia Pavarnik. Show yourself, Lydia. Yes. What do you have to say about climate change? Oh my god, he loves climate change. What? No, no. How do you guys get into a pool? You <laughs> swim into it. You swim into a pool. I don't think it is. You guys do it best. Oh my god, thank you. Love you, Love you Pete Chat. <laughs> oh yeah. My best friends. Oh my god, what did they do to you? No. So I'm still alive. <laughs> Give me a dummy. And then you're just gonna press to you here the clap. The beat, the beat! He needs to breathe. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at WBXL underscore news and on our YouTube channel, Baker News on WBXL TV. You can also visit our website at bakerlibrary.org or email us at wbxl at beevil.org. This has been Baker News on WBXL-TV. Thanks for watching.